All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping well and hope your tanks are uh, thriving and yeah, doing really good for yourself. Today's episode, what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna take, gonna show you a little bit of what we're doing to, uh, to, the, to the new system. We're gonna be putting a lot of things in. I'm gonna show you some things that I've, you've not seen before, but I'm also gonna show you the way I'm gonna have to deal with it. Now the issue I have obviously, with it being a smaller tank than my last one, I've got a problem with in terms of space but i've come up with a plan of what i'm going to do and i'll speak about that in this uh, in this video but uh, yeah stay tuned guys i'll turn the camera around and i'll show you exactly where we're up to be prepared because it's a bit of a mess but it always is when we do these systems so yeah stay tuned guys and uh, i'll show you exactly what's going to happen now right then guys so as you can see we're in a bit of a mess at this moment in time Everything is all over the show. Clothes, which have just been washed, the school kids' clothes, all been washed, just all off the table. And yeah, it's, it's just an absolute mess, guys, at the moment. But we're getting there. We're going to be, I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing on this new system. First things first, what you'll see is I've added the, uh, the Ecotec Radion Gen 6s onto the tank. I think they look pretty sick there. I did have them originally pointing this way. But I just thought to myself it didn't look good. So I'll turn them this way. We'll only really know the true, uh, you know, the true colour when we uh, when we turn them on. Now, obviously, this is only a three-foot tank, guys. And these lights can basically one light can light up a four-foot tank. So I'm gonna be running it a lot. I'm gonna have to reduce, reduce it in terms of uh, you know the light. I'm gonna have to reduce it. Now I was gonna get a rail to go across from the side rather than here. Still might do that. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hide as much of the cables as I can, guys. I don't really want cables showing. As you know, it's just aesthetically pleasing just to, to be able to do that. But that's what I want to do. But so think, first things first, it's uh, it's all going really well, we, you know, with the lights. I need to get some um, some of the rubber grommet type things that go onto, onto these, these nuts. I don't want them rusting going into the tank. So I'll have to uh, find out where I can get some of them from and get get to uh, yeah get them on because like i said don't want any rust now i always I, I always put that tip out is to get some vaseline and rub the vaseline on top of the uh the bolt all the hinges that's what i'm doing to these rub vaseline on them and on my last tank guys i never had no signs of rust whatsoever on any of the hinges or anything else so yeah good tip for you there get that onto it but as you can see first things what i have done is i've it's a bit dark in here guys, but I've added the uh, the Versa 4 Dosa pump there. Now obviously the sump sits here, well it sits just under that one. But the first one there is we're going to have the uh, CVE from Corals Essentials, we're going to be dosing that in there. And then these three here, we're going to be having the calcium, alkalinity and magnesium. Now it's going to take some time before I add them guys, because I'm going to be doing 10% water changes, which in this system will probably be about 28 litres, 30 litres of water. Because like I said, with, water display, with displacement of the water in terms of when I had the rock and the sand, I mean, it's only a 314 litre system, 300 litre system, 314 litre, give or take. So we should be, yeah, like I said, 30, 30, 40 litres of water out of that. I reckon it'll be it'll be things. So it'll probably be about, like I said, 260, 270 in terms of water um, in this system. So 30 litres is a good 10%. So I'm going to do that. What I also, what I'm going to do as well now is I'm going to add the uh, energy bar, the Neptune, the Neptune energy bar. I'm going to put that up here guys now i'm going to stick it on here and hopefully when i get do my cable management um, i'm going to run it at the back underneath all around the back there you won't see it and then like i said i'm going to be mentioning i'm going to be making a cabinet out of mdf i'm going to paint it the color of the walls and then i'm also going to use the oops falling all over the show guys 
Um, I'm also going to use the hex board here from Exodus. I'm going to paint that the same colour as the wall. So it's all going to blend in, guys. And it's going to look super sick. I think I'm going to. It's going to look really, really nice when it's all done. So that's that's the plan for that so far, guys. In terms of um, in terms of like everything else that I'm going to do, the, the the issue I have is I'm not really going to be using it using all the stuff at this moment um so you know i'm going to be obviously cycling the system i'm not going to be adding anything in into it in terms of coral stock or or i'm only going to add the two fish in there which is my clownfish i'm only really going to add them in so in terms of like stocking wise obviously clean up crew but in terms of like fish wise there's not going to be much in obviously once the cycle's going uh, once the cycle's finished um, so I've got to I've got to figure it out, and then like I said, because I'm going all SPS, other than the bubble coral, as people mention, um, it's it's gonna I'm gonna take the time with it. I'm not gonna rush this system, guys. You know, obviously, once everything's in, I want to take it. I don't want to be having tons and tons of problems, um, especially with my shifts. So I want to just make sure that it's all done and all set, ready for when. Uh, for when everything can go in there for you know in, in 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 general in terms of like coral stocking but one thing you will see is you'll see i've gone with the vectro s2 now when i was reading up on this system it says that you uh, really don't want to run it more than 2000 liters an hour this will be perfect i can dial it in via the mobius app um, i know fish palace paul he's got it and he rates highly on these vectors so yeah Really big shout out to um, to Exodus for sorting me out, sending me uh, sending me that one out. Really appreciate it. So yeah, I can't wait to get that on the system in terms of everything else. Another thing that I'm not showing you is I've also got the Neptune Trident. So I've got the Neptune Trident. That's going to sit at the side of the sump. So that's going to sit. The sump obviously sits here. Trident's going to sit there and I'm going to try and get a lot of the Neptune stuff all plumbed into that side. So the, the problem we have, guys, really is the size of the cables. The cables are shockingly poor in terms of like the size of them. They give you a minimal size cable for the system. Um, I don't think they actually take into account, you know, that people, we don't always have plug sockets right behind our tanks. It's either on side walls or wherever we want to position them. So, yeah. Uh, that's the issue I have. So what I need to try and keep them all together as much as the plugs, the, you know, the things that need the plugs together as much as I can. And then obviously in the other cupboard, I'm going to run all my controllers. So I'll be able to run the controller for the S2. I'll be able to run the controller for my wave makers. Um, plug the uh, controllers for the lights on there as well behind in that cabinet that I'm making. So yeah, in general, guys, everything. Um, will be fine in that sense because we'll be able to sort that we'll be able to hide everything behind one thing i'm still undecided well i'm not undecided guys is the sump this sump now in terms of the quality let me just move that out there there we go in terms of the quality of the glass and everything is absolutely fantastic now obviously you know my bugbear with uh, filter socks that is coming out now what i am going to do is i think i'm going to cut away I'm going to cut away this glass here. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to obviously use a really sharp Stanley blade, cut away at the seams, all the way down the seams. And then obviously when the return uh, cable, the return pipe comes into this section, usually what it'll happen is it'll come over, it'll come down into here, it'll over, it'll rise up to here, it'll overflow here, go into the filter sock, filter sock will clean it, into the skimmer, and then into the reactor, whichever reactor you have through the baffle plate just at the back there in that one up and over and into the return and then back into the system that's the way this this sump system works simple so easy to do simple um, but yeah i want as you know i love the uh, the clarity i think they're fantastic um, and i wouldn't do a tank without one of them so that's the syst that's the way we're going to go so i'm going to cut this out hopefully i'm going to show you on this video i'm going to cut it out and then we'll uh, hopefully we'll be able to put the clarity 
or, or we'll be able to place into place and we'll be able to have a rough guide of where we're going to position everything so hopefully later on in this video guys we'll have a, a rough guide of what the sump what the tank looks like everything with with uh, everything in place and then we've got a good guide of what we're going to do but yeah that's the plan so far guys so hopefully i'll come back to you shortly you'll be able to see the system and uh fingers crossed everything's gone to plan but as you know you know you know yourselves in this system in this hobby things don't always go to plan but we'll see where we go from here guys so stay tuned and fingers crossed right then guys so we're back we finally after a bit of uh messing about and stuff like that we finally uh sorted out the majority of things really going in it which is going to go into this cabin it cabin into this uh cabinet so as i explained before i want to try and keep as not as much um electrical stuff as i could in here in all honesty i wanted it to go into the cabin which into the cabinet over there which i said i'm gonna build out of mdf my missus said to me what because i said i was going to paint she said why don't you think about wrapping i've looked at some wraps and to be fair i might even go that route so as that was a great uh suggestion from my missus so i might even go that route so stay tuned for that because i'm sure that'll be uh, a bit of a laugh seeing me uh try and wrap things up but in the cab in the cabinet here i don't know why i keep saying cabinet in the in the uh cabinet here this is what i've done guys so as you can see i've loosely just screwed these uh the pipe work in because i don't want to screw it in you know permanently um these pipes would that this would obviously go straight and so would that um but yeah i mean the biggest take was taking this centerpiece out for the uh for the clarity it was an absolute nightmare guys taking this out god i honestly i mean i hate it you know you know yourself when you try to take things out glass that scraping and that awful sound that you get you just think you're going to snap something but thankfully i never did managed to get it out cleaned it and yeah we've left this little piece in which the uh, filter fl floss um, uh, plastic was, was held onto. We've done that, we took that out. But what we've added, we've added the new Vectra S2. That fits absolutely like a gem. Managed to get that in, squeeze that on. The barb, the actual barb that I put on here, just on here, as you can see, I think it might be a little bit too, because there's not much area, there's not much space in the sump here, guys, that's one 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 problem that there is i mean i suppose i could have turned it at an angle maybe that i might even still do that to be fair um if i do then i'll have to get another barb kit but uh yeah we'll see how the water goes through it if not then i'll just uh, get a new barb kit and, and put that on we managed to get the um the ato put in and I've just put that in that corner there. I mean, hopefully it won't fall in the uh, in the ATO. It's only on Velcro, um, but usually that's pretty 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 sturdy. So we'll, fingers crossed that'll that'll stay there. And then we've got the uh, verses, which are all here. The the only issue, like I said before, is the, probably this first one here. Um, we're not going to have much much room to thing, but I suppose I could get some flexi flexi tubing for that really, and we could flex that one over because it's going to be. I'm going to move this this is going to probably be moved forward a little bit more and then the um it's that one's going to dose the cve into the system and then we've got the other three which is them three we're going to run the um calcium alkalinity magnesium off there so that's that's what that that is going to be obviously the containers are going to be for that and then we've got basically all the neptune we've got the mxm module we've got the brains behind it and then we've got the uh the actual control panel now what i've put this up, up higher and i've only done that guys because obviously i don't want any potential water, salt water so i know it's i mean really you should have put this above it so i can easily plug it in but i didn't want to really risk that any you know moisture or water goes into it fingers crossed it doesn't but you know potentially that could happen so we wanted to just stay away from that and then like i said here we've got the if i can just zoom the camera in on it and then we've got the the new trident that's going to be up and running that's fairly safe down there we can run that pack tube in round here and i believe that the tubes that come with it which is these 
these things here, yeah, I don't believe you can cut them. I think these are like, must be calibrated for for the, the trident. So yeah, I don't think you can cut them. Um, I might be wrong. If I am wrong, comment below. But yeah, those have got to stay there. So the trident's going to stay there. It's easy, easy access to get through to, to it as well. So yeah, there should be no no issues and like I said the containers are going to be easy access to get to as well so overall it just needed to be as simple and as easy access to to it as we can that's what we want um, and yeah hopefully fingers crossed guys well I can get that cabinet built and everything will be fine but yeah like I said it was uh, been pretty pretty long longer than I thought it would take it took me about three three hours or so to do this just making sure that I get the old cables right and like I said Cables are all there, but they'll all be hidden in the container in, into the cabinet that I build, so that won't even be seen, and yet everything will be fine. But once again, guys, I really appreciate you following me on this journey, especially this new journey, the uh, NIOS Opus 300. Um, hopefully, you stay with me, follow me uh, more, get it all set up, get it all cycled, and yeah, continue on this journey with me. So, once again, guys, really appreciate it. Click the thumbs up, like. If you don't like the video, click the, like, the down button. Um, and yeah, don't forget, comment below. Join us on our live streams when, we, when I'm back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be soon. And yeah, until next time, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.